Hi, I'm back. Two things. First, I think I'll hold on on doing book five. At least until I'm a bit more caught up with editing and posting what I've already recorded. So if you're looking forward to that, I ask for a bit more patience in that regard. Second, I really want this deuce card, but Ace fucked me over and I have barely any gems. So I'm going to save what I can till the end of the event and roll. Hopefully they do reruns. I can't find the information easily on the internet, for some reason. But well, today we're doing the event, so let's go! Not sure how this wish thing works. So I know Wish Upon a Star is from Pinocchio, and the OST seems to be kind of a remix of that, but I'm honestly more familiar with the significance of the song for Fruits Basket than Pinocchio itself. But well, let's start. Chapter 1, The Star Sending, Wish Upon a Star Once upon a time, in a rural town, there lived an elderly toy maker who built a puppet made of wood. The old man cared dearly for this puppet, as he had no children of his own. One night, he gazed up at the twinkling stars, blanketing the sky, and said, I wish that my little puppet might be a real boy. The old man drifted off to sleep soon after, only to be awoken by a great clattering in the night. And just what was making all that noise? Why, it was his very own puppet, talking and moving around. The toy maker realized, much to his amazement, that his wish had come true. He was overcome with joy, and so he raised the puppet with love, and they lived happily together. Except from a famous piece of literature. Yeah, let's call it that. Classroom. We we'll stop there for today. But before we adjourn, we have some school business to discuss. Yeah, looks like we're done here. Another hard day's work, done and dusted. A hard day's work, you've been dozing off since lunch. Weren't you napping right along with him? Wait, bossy? <laughs> Idy, you can't just fling around random accusations like that. I might have rested my eyes a few times, but I didn't fall asleep once, you hear me? Sure, sure. You both need to get your act together and pay attention to Professor Crew. You're always so uptight about this stuff. But your grades ain't no better than mine. Grim! Hey, shut up! What's that got to do with anything? Silence! You pups are making a racket. Sorry, Professor. Now, as you already know, there's to be a school assembly in the lecture hall after class. I assume they'll be going over the star sending, which is happening a week from today. Attendance is mandatory. That concludes today's announcements. Everyone proceed to the lecture hall at once. Lecture hall. <laughs> well, we're here, but I still don't get what this whole Rigma rule is about. Weren't you listening? The professor clearly said it was about the star sending. What's that? Are you being serious right now? I'd like to know too. I wonder why Grim doesn't know these things. He's from this world, right? Really, Idy? You don't know either. 
Iris from another world, so that makes sense to me. But I am surprised Grim doesn't know. Is it really that big a deal? Yeah, kinda. Schools and communities all over the world do it. Hard to imagine someone not knowing what it is. Then how's about you tell us, so we can be in the know too? Eh, the head mage will probably go over it. Quiet down, please. The assembly is about to begin. Chapter 2 A Weird Tradition Lecture Hall Quiet down, please. The assembly is about to begin. First, I'll give an overview of the star sending. Then will come the stargazer announcements, after which we will hand out wishing stars. Though, seeing as you're all familiar with the star sending, I suppose I can spare you a prolonged explanation. He always forgets about us. It's certainly not because I find such overwrought overviews remarkably tedious. Taking it as a gesture of consideration, I wish for my dear students to get out of here sooner so as to preserve their morale. Ah, how discerning I am! Hey Ace, the head mage and explaining it. Ugh, fine. I'll give you the rundown. The star sending is a tradition based on wish upon a star. Do you know what that is either? Do you know anything? It's the tale of an old toy maker who made a wooden puppet. Are they implying that Pinocchio in this world is like a book or something? He wished it could be a real boy. His wish came true, and the puppet sprung to life. It's a pretty famous story. I heard it all the time when I was a kid. Huh. The star sending happens once a year. People send their wishes to the stars on the same day the toy maker did. And you need wishing stars to do that. They're made stones that glow when you make a wish on them. You channel your wishes into a wishing star, then hang it on a tree. What a weird tradition! Wishing on stars isn't uncommon. At any rate, without further ado, now the part you've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the Stargazers! What's going on now? Why is everyone making a fuss? Ah oh, yes, I see you're all abuzz with anticipation. The Stargazers are the ones who will gather all the wishing stars and hang them on the great tree in the woods behind the campus. I can hardly blame you for being so excited to find out who shall be the stars of the event. Nope, not even a little bit. <laughs> please don't let it be me, please don't let it be me. No one sounds terribly eager for this job. Why is everyone so down on being a stargazer? My brother told me that at his school they picked three students to be stargazers. Just three people, to collect wishing star from the entire student body. Who'd wanna be stuck with that job? Why can't everyone just hang their own wish? Three guys gotta wrangle stars from hundreds of students? Sheesh, sounds rough. As in previous years, I've utilized horoscopes to select specific birth dates via astrology. Is this why they asked for our birth dates recently? Just cause I did a video about it back on my birthday, and they didn't give us anything. The students born on those dates will be our stargazers this year. Are you ready for the grand unveiling? Do you wish to glimpse this year's radiant stars? Cut the hype and just get on with it. I've already dragged myself here to take part in this inane ceremony. The very notion of skewing. Hard work in favor of pinning your hopes on a star is inherently flawed. Ugh, great. Another year of this nonsense. 
I just want it to be done with. Come now, idiot! Another star sending, another assembly full of gripe. Hmm. All a stargazer has to do is execute their duties with perfection. I don't understand why people would complain about that. Yeah, for real. Being a stargazer sounds neat. I hope I get paid. Are you serious? <laughs> if Kalim does get picked, Jamil will probably have to do everything. There's nothing neat about using astrology to randomly dump work on people. You know, from the right perspective, the stargazer position is ripe for business opportunities. I'd certainly offer my service if volunteers were allowed. You mean take advantage of people's wishes for your own gain? <laughs> That sounds rather fun, actually. It sounds like a hassle. I wouldn't take that job. Alright, I now present to you your stargazers for this year. The first birth date is... I knew it. Chapter 3 This Year's Stargazers Lecture Hall Alright, I now present to you your stargazers for this year. And the first birth date is October 25th. Trey Clover. Well, definitely wasn't expecting that. Congratulations, Trey. I expect you to do your part to avoid bringing embarrassment to the Hearts Labune. Yes, House Warden, I'll be sure to pull my weight. The second birth date is December 18th. That's my sister's birthday. Idia Shroud. Uh, Arthur, am I imagining things or did the head mage just shout my name? He sure did! Congratulations, Idia. It's so cool you got picked. Nope, nope, hard, nope, I'm not doing it. What? Why not? You know what stargazers have to do, right? They're glorified gophers who go around gathering wishing stars from all, from all the students. Then they're publicly humiliated on Star Sending Day. Dance and bang drums in front of the whole school. That's a nightmare. What do they think I am? A hardcore rhythm gamer? Hey, your own game is a rhythm game. Don't be like that. That's like taking pure cringe and somehow overclocking it. Well, if that's the case, why not just partake in collecting the stars? You could do that through your tablet. I can handle carrying them. But that means I'd be shifting work onto you, Arthur. Brothers don't do that to each other. Oh. Huh. Actually, I'm glad you got picked. I want to help. I don't know. I'll help you in any way I can. Pretty please. Well, I guess. Yay, this is gonna be fun. And the third birthday is... June 3rd. Deal spade. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, congrats? Well, them's the brakes. Stop with the pitting looks. I'll have you know I'm honored to be a stargazer. I'll be representing the whole student body. I swear I'll get the job done. Sounds like another prime opportunity for you to get that your try hard on. Good luck with all that. These three are this year's stargazers. We will now hand out the wishing stars, and I expect all of you to turn them into the stargazers. One caveat, however, you must make your wish in the presence of a stargazer. Huh. Otherwise your wishing star won't light up, and what's sadder than hanging an unlit star? Incidentally, some news reporters will be attending this year's ceremony. Our star sending is to be featured in the local papers, so I trust you all do your part to ensure we have an ample amount of wishing stars. That is all, dismissed. 
Okay, I'm gonna go snag one of those wishing stars. Weren't you just making fun of the stargazers? Look, I don't know about the rest of this, but I'd be a fool to pass up a free maystone. You can't eat it. Okay? <laughs> Bad cat. Ooh, a card? Trey. Yep. I really like the aesthetic of this clothes. Hoshiokuri-no-koromo-mini-matou-to-ki-ga-hiki-shimaru-kore-ga-dentou-tekina-i-shou-no-motsu-omomi-na-no-ka-mo-na. I also really like the background. Chapter 4 The Wishing Stars Glow Lecture Hall Hey, Head Mage, we'll take some of those wishing stars too. Ah, oh, if it isn't the Ramshackle duo, but of course, here you are. So this is a wishing star. Wait a minute, you only gave us one. Well, yes, one wishing star per person. <laughs> is he saying that Grim is not a person or that we together are a person? And as I've previously stated, the two of you count as a single student. Okay, so he's not insulting. Only Grim. <laughs> Aw, come on! What do we do now, Heidi? Wow, I'm so kind. It's all yours, Grim. You sure? No take bags, you know. Not even if you end up wanting a can of tuna later. I'd better get this to a stargazer before you change your mind. Let's see, where's Zeus? Ah, found him. Hey! What is it, Grim? I've got a wishing star for you, from me and Idy. Now, how do I work this way? Hold it tightly and say your wish out loud. Okay. I wish to be a great mage. Huh, his wish is more serious than I thought. I was thinking maybe he would wish for tuna. <laughs> oh, it's glowing. That means the wish is inside it now. Well, that's nifty. What's with all the gushing? It's just a silly wishing star. From what I hear, the glow is just a response to human body heat and traces of magic. I'm sorry, Idia. Did you say something? Uh, nope, never mind. For some reason, Arto gets really jazzed about the star sending every year. Huh, if it reacts to your body heat or whatever he said, I wonder if Arto can make a wish. Cause he seems to be a robot, right? No need to burst his bubble. Well, here's one wishing star for ya. My wish is in your hands. Right, I'll take care of it. Hmm? Why are you looking all serious? Has my grand visionary wish left you awestruck? Come on, that's silly. Nah, just... Star sending always reminds me of something. One time, when I was in middle school, I heard my mom making a wish. I got into fights pretty much every day back then. She was so worried about me. So she wished for me to stop fighting and live a healthy life. Oh yeah, I remember you said you did a lot of roughhousing back in those days. Yeah, I caused people a lot of grief, so I'm trying to leave the straight and narrow now to make up for it. I'm gonna study my tail off, work hard at school activities and show my mom what a model student I've become. Deuce is so cute. Ah, you've collected a wishing star already. Is this ID and Grimm's? Yes, sir. And I'll make sure to keep it up and get even more. Uh, right. You seem pretty motivated. I am. I'm going to give this my best effort. It's nice to be working with you, Deuce Spade. My brother and I will do our part as well. 
Right, looking forward to it, you two. Sure, I uh, guess. What a nightmare. I just want to get this through with as little social interaction as possible. Well, I'm gonna hit the pavement and collect more wishing stars. Ah, Deuce, wait! And he's already gone. This could be trouble. I'd better follow him. You're being a little paranoid, don't you think? He's just carrying a bunch of rocks. Yeah, but Deuce is new here. It's dangerous to let him go without telling him what's up. You mean how there's a ton of people and only three of you? Something else, actually. Anyway, I gotta go talk to him later. Tell us! <laughs> Trey, wait! I'm getting worried about you, Spade. Let's follow the media. Whoa, hey, Arthur. There they all go. Now I want to know what the deal is. Yeah, I'm with ya there. Let's move. I'll do one more for today, but I don't think I'll be able to reach the twist tunes. Chapter 5 Any Means Necessary Interior Hallway Hey, uh, excuse me, you there, 7 o'clock students. Yeah, what do you want? I'm Dil Spade, one of the stargazers. Could you give me your wishing star? Why should I? Um, because that's how this works. I don't feel like it. But. Buzz off, I got no reason to bother with this ridiculous ceremony. I'm not some kindergartner unlike you, kiddo. Oh yeah, wanna try saying that again? Sure enough, a fight's already brewing. Okay, do school your jets. Trey! Hey, can I go now or what? Yeah, sorry to bother you. Guess I was right to follow him. What's the deal, Trey? And what's with the entourage? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to warn you about collecting the wishing stars. You saw how the guy reacted just now, right? Yeah, he wasn't cooperative at all. I'm afraid you'll find most students on campus will be like that. Everyone thinks the star sending is a drag. They don't want to contribute to it. Uh, yeah, cause we're not in middle school. People grow out of star sendings, no one believes in that stuff anyway. I wouldn't say no one. Oh yeah, you're so right, Arto. I just meant people here are total contrarians. Precisely! <laughs> Headmage? Nearly made me jump out of my skin. It's all too true. The students at this school have never been compliant when it comes to the star sending. But this one needs to be a resounding success. I'd like our student body to learn some cooperation. But more to the point, schools garner a better reputation while they do honor to traditional ceremonies. Don't you just want to look good in front of the reporters? Which is where your stargazers come in. Do not let our students' dismal attitudes browbeat you into submission. Gather as much wishing stars as you can. In fact, you may even decide in room for extra aid. I knew it. Ah. We cannot have any unflattering photos appear in the papers. This year, I authorize you to use any means necessary to get the job done. Except magic, right? I permit that as well. Are, are you sure? I thought it was against the rules to use magic in personal disputes. This is no personal dispute. The star sending is a crucial campus event. Thus, securing cooperation is vital to our educational mission. This year shaping up to be even more of a mess than usual. Oh, that's right, I have something for you all. Close? Aren't they splendid? Don't be shy now, try them on.
Oh, Deuce looks so cute. Trey looks nice too, but it doesn't fit him as well as Deuce. Oh, Star sending ropes! Stargazers traditionally wear them. That's so cool. I'll explain the ceremonial dance and drumming you'll perform at the stargazing star sending later. In the meantime, would you wear these outfits and continue collecting wishing stars? Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Glad to hear it. Until then, adieu. Sounds like we're getting dragged into yet another mess. What do you say, Idy? Nothing new for us. Just what does the head mage think we are? His personal lackeys? To be fair, we do need all the help we can get collecting these stars. I'm counting on you too. Yeah, fine, whatever. I don't want the head mage giving me any guff later. I'm glad to be working with you both. Yoroshiku. I think that's what he was saying at the moment. Alright, we should start collecting in earnest. Heidi and I can help out Deuce and Trey. Okay, then I'll assist my brother. I uh, guess I can put it off forever. If some people won't cooperate, then I'll let my fist do the talking. That's a language I'm fluent in. I'm gonna get those wishing stars and I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Nice, so we're beating the wishes out of people. I'm gonna stop the story here, but what this wishes step? Are these like scenes? Three wishing stars. Um. Oh, are we going to get, like, little scenes for everyone's wishes? Oh, that seems to be cute. <laughs> and why is Trey doing a much better job than everyone else? So I'll do some lessons off camera and then come back to do the wishes. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.